I'll start by reading the instructions. Draw a circle on the ground, a circle of protection, and it should be nine feet in diameter. You could use flour, salt, paint, or whatever you can think of to draw the circle. Step two, draw an equilateral triangle at the edge of the circle with one side facing the circle so that the point is pointing away from the circle. You can draw it on the ground, on cardboard, or however you wish. Step three, choose a demon. They suggested Lucifuge Rofacal. Uh, step four, break the name up and write it inside the triangle so that it creates a symmetrical triangular pattern following the sides and evenly divided up. Step five, collect a rather large supply of incense, burn five to six to six, yeah, five to ten sticks at the same time if you use sticks. Also, put a single black candle into the triangle. Step six, use some blood, preferably your own, and put it into the triangle. You could use about five or six drops from your finger. Step seven, light the incense and have it burning throughout the ritual slash experiment slash operation, whatever you want to call it. Also, light the candle. So you light the candle at the same moment that you light the incense, after you've put the blood into the triangle. Step eight, sit in the circle facing the candle. Watch the flame with relaxed and half-opened eyes. Watch the little flame dance and flicker about. Put yourself into a state of hypnosis by the following steps. First, tense each of your tense. What is wrong with me tonight? Tense each of your muscles and then relax said muscle. Start with your feet and continue to your scalp, including every major muscle group: calves, hams, quads, butt, abs, chest, back, shoulders, biceps, tri neck, face, etc. As you tense and relax each one, tell yourself in your head is fine, or out loud, that that muscle's relaxed, meaning sort of like saying to yourself, my neck is relaxed. Next, once that's done, give yourself a command. Say to yourself, now I am relaxed. Then, tell yourself, the longer you stare at the candle, the deeper you will go into a trance, and repeat that several times. Next, visualize a staircase with ten steps. Slowly count from ten down to one, and with each count, take another step. Visualize yourself taking that step, you know? At one, you should step off the last stair onto ground level. Do this again twice more to make sure you are in a deep trance. Now that you are in a deep trance, tell yourself, I am summoning whatever the demon's name is, and he will appear when I call to him. Repeat that to yourself several times, three times it says exactly. Uh, then call to the demon. Simply repeat their name, or it says that you could customize it a little bit. You could say, I call you into this room, demon's name, hear and obey me, such as that, such as the Iraq. Uh, Eleven, keep doing this. If you feel something is with you, begin to make requests. Try saying, whatever the demon's name is, I command you to put this candle out. And, uh, then it has a specific set of words to say, uh, along with the command, which I'll save until the actual ritual so that uh, I'm not using them out of context. Aside from that, there's just a pronunciation guide for those words at the end. That is the entirety of the instructions. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the prep, and the camera will pick back up right when I'm about to add the blood and light the incense and the candles. Sorry about that. I, I just shook the table just now. Didn't mean to uh, spook you there. Like I said, the, candle, the camera will pick back up when I'm about to begin after I've done the prep. And just to be clear here, um, I'll be using this salt. It's uh, rock salt. A lot cheaper to get than actual salt in some cases. All right, I'm mostly done here. Just to give you a quick example, that's the circle. It is nine feet by 
well, sorry, nine feet in diameter. And here is the triangle. Not sure if you can see that well enough. Uh, let me grab some more light. I have a flashlight with me. There you go. And there's the black candle. And the incense will be outside the circle, outside the triangle to the left of me, as I'll be facing the triangle right there. That's there the incense is. Just to be clear, because you'll see two things burning, you know. And the specific location for the incense wasn't given, so I chose just to the left of where the circle and the triangle come close to each other. Now I'm going to be getting the blood for the triangle, and you might notice I'm doing this experiment barefoot. That's only because I'm going to be getting the blood from my leg instead of my hands or my arms. So, you know, it's easier to hide. It's also easier getting by every day without cuts on your hands. Also, I want to stress, nobody should try this. And there you have the blood. So we're all ready. I'm going to get the camera set up in the right position. It'll only take me a minute. And then this will come back and uh, I'll begin. So there'll be a quick cut here and I'll be right back. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me. I call you here now. Lucifuge Rofocal to appear before me. I call you here now, Lucifuge Rofocal, to appear before me.
I command you, Lucifuge Robocal, to extinguish this candle. By Yod Hey Vav Hey, I command you put out this candle. By Adonai, by Elohim, by El Shaddai, I command you put out this candle. I command you, Lucifer's Robocal, by Yod Hey Vav Hey, to put out this candle now. Alright, just to give you a quick view of what I was looking at, this is where I was sitting. I've been out here, I'm not sure how long. I lost track of time during the, the meditative part of the ritual and I did not bring my watch this time. As you can hear, it's close to morning. And it's definitely been long enough that the roly-polies or pill bugs have discovered my blood on the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up now. Um, before I go, I uh, wanted to mention that I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, I did feel strange. I was saying I did feel strange a uh, few moments, which is why I tried some of the commands. Nothing worked uh, as far as I can tell in regards to commanding Lucifuge Rofocal to put out the candle. I didn't notice anything visually or audibly. 
Um, so I can't say that I myself experienced anything uh, unusual. But if you have any critiques or other suggestions, sorry if I sound a little slow. I'm I'm annoyed by the rooster. Um, <laughs> back on point. If you have any other critiques or suggestions for this experiment or other paranormal related experiments, even if you have suggestions for topic videos. Oh, and uh, update on the Indiegogo campaign. Um, there was uh, another donation, uh, kind of the contribution rather, and we're at $161 right now. I wanted to let everyone know that uh, when we hit $300, if we hit $300, um, I will do a live stream like I used to do years ago of uh, experiments, whichever experiments the people who show up to the live stream suggest, within reason, obviously, if you show up suggesting, you know, gallons of bloods and goat sacrifices, I, I probably can't pull that off, but if you send me a message with your donation on the way to 300 let me know what you expect in the live stream, uh, we can discuss it. And uh, any suggestions for the live stream, leave those in the comments as well. And as always, thanks for the peer review and uh, keep the suggestions coming. I forgot to mention in the beginning, uh, this one was actually sent in by Packy009. Thank you, by the way. And thanks to everyone else for the critiques and ideas.